Hello everyone and welcome to Cloth Weaver. Today we will learn how to save and load custom user templates. First, we want to turn on Auto Run Python Scripts. So go to File, or Edit, Preferences, Save and Load, and Auto Run Python Scripts. And then make sure you save. Okay. We are currently in the design panel, so we want to move to clothing. And we have all our templates here. We want to go to user templates. And there's nothing here, directory not found. So we need to create a directory. So let's click this button. Now we're going to browse to a directory. And we want to create a new folder. My, my clothing. Okay. Select it and hit accept. And if we hit reload, it will bring this up and there's no thumbnails here because we have not created any. So here I have my character and I want to save the torso portion. So this, so this, the torso is one object here and we want to export that, then we will export the hat separately. So first, before we generate our clothing, we want to check our camera for when we make our thumbnail. Press zero on your numpad so we can see what our camera looks like. And for the torso, I want to zoom in. find my control point. Let's move that down here. Okay, something like that should be okay. Select the torso and you want to make sure, important down here, the icon, the thumbnail, must have a category or Cloth Weaver will crash. So let's see what that looks like if we make it crash. Let's just call this torso. And then we want to hit generate icon. There will be a blender window that appears, a separate instance that is for the generating of the thumbnail. Depending on your operating system, that window may not close automatically. I believe on Windows, yeah, see here it comes, here's the blank window, and then it disappeared. On Windows, it might not disappear. Mac OS, not sure, but on Linux, it does go away. Just close out of it if it's in the way. Okay, so now let's hit Reload Gallery. Uh-oh, what happened? Name torso is not defined. What's wrong? Well, we need to have a category underscore file name. So let's open our directory. My clothing. Here's our thumbnail. That's pretty cool. But it's not reading it. Okay, let's do what it says. Let's delete this and try again. Now, you'll see our camera has been resized to a square. So let's go ahead and adjust our preview. Select the camera, and I'm going to zoom in. OK. Let's see, we have the texture in here. All right, now, select the torso one more time, or the object we are getting, we want to export, and let's give it a category, shall we? Let's hit holiday underscore um, Santa torso, okay? Now, generate icon. 
give it a moment. Depending on how complex your scene is, your render times will differ. It also works with EV and cycles. Currently, we are using cycles. Okay, here comes that window. Yep, disappeared. Okay, reload gallery. Oh, that's cool. While we're at it, let's select the hat. Okay, now let's select the hat and rename it holiday underscore Santa dash hat and generate. There's our window. Okay, reload. And there's our hat. And let's see. Uh, that'll work fine. Okay, now let's save everything and close out of Blender and then reopen. All right, so we reopen Blender, open a new file here, and our gallery persists. Still selected. Yep, everything's there. And let's try and import one of these. Import. There it is. Cool, very, very cool. Nice. You'll notice if we hit category, we have a holiday category. Yep. Okay, import the hat. There it is, nice. Very cool, very cool. Very cool. Now let's say we wanna share our custom items online or sell them online. All we have to do is go to our main folder. So here we are in our directory. What we need to do is select the corresponding files and then compress that to some kind of zip folder. I'm gonna name this, let's say, last name, first initial, so Smith. John dash then holiday Santa torso okay we'll just delete these for now delete those okay and let's say we just upload this okay now let's see what the customer would look at so customer has a new file here and they have their directory, uh, but there's nothing in the directory. Oh no! All we have to do, all we have to do, is unzip John Smith's Santa model. We hit extract. Okay. Go ahead and delete the zip folder. Here's our items. And again, yeah, make sure your naming convention is the same so we have a category so in the future if you have many many items the categories will all line up items everything will import nicely okay reload we have a new category holiday awesome there it is import cool so that is how you save and load custom items in cloth weaver